Automatic conveyor systems are the lifeline in many companies. They ensure the continuous flow of materials and products through large building complexes and transport different goods in all divisions, from the production department to the stock area. In the event of a fire, the uncontrolled spreading of a fire from one part of a building to another must be prevented. State building regulations demand the segmentation of buildings into several fire compartments. Also, insurance companies want to limit the risk to one fire compartment. That's why the necessary openings and ceilings and walls have to be sealed in the event of a fire by approved systems. As inventor of fire protection closures for uninterrupted transport systems, Stürbik Brandschutz has developed and produced various sealing solutions for nearly all conveyor systems for over 30 years. In doing so, various systems achieve different country-specific fire protection classifications, such as for Europe, Russia, or the USA. Modern conveyor system closures offer a reliable ceiling for almost every structural situation. The choice of an appropriate fire protection solution depends basically on the type of conveyor technique. Besides this, the size of the opening and the space conditions around the opening also play an important role. A closure and slider construction with vertical closing direction often applies as a classical approach, since it can be used cost-effectively and for various types of conveyor techniques. However, the space required for the slider panel while it's parked in open position needs to be considered. If there is limited space above the opening, it can also be closed horizontally from the side. If the wall surface in general doesn't offer the possibility to use a slider construction due to structural limitations, a flap construction can be used that only needs a free pivoting range. A special area in the field of conveyor system closures are textile systems. The roll-off technique makes it possible to store the fabric inside a casing while saving space. The extremely lightweight and also the possibility to close large openings are the advantages over solid closures. For overhead conveyors like monorail conveyors or power and free systems, often one or two leaf doors or one or two part slider constructions are used. Several conveyor lines passing through one opening can be sealed with one big slider element at the same time. However, textile closures are also an equivalent alternative in this application field, especially when it comes to space requirements and low weights. In general, the sealing of interrupted conveyor lines is very unproblematic. Large openings can be easily closed with fire protection roller shutters or stacking doors. Spaces for pneumatic feed pipes that pass through firewalls will also need to be closed in case of emergency. Such partitions also operate according to the slider principle. To create space for the slide element, the conveyor line will be separated at the partition level. It's important that the transport process won't be affected by this. Openings and ceilings have special demands on the type of partitioning. They include a special challenge, especially regarding the static load. A horizontal ceiling slider is a possible solution if there is enough space and bearing capacity around the opening. However, due to the inadmissible weight loads, lifting shafts often need to be built, which have to be closed with an additional vertical sliding element. On the other hand, Textile fire protection curtains with a folding technique are statically unproblematic. Its construction allows a space creation around the lifting device and also a clear view on the conveying process. Sturbeek control systems guarantee the perfect interaction of conveyed good, transport system and fire protection closure. They coordinate the clearance of the closing area in the event of fire, the sealing of the opening, and, if necessary, the emergency power supply for the conveyor system.